Any teacher of a Moodle course room can add students or delete students from their class. You do this by going to the settings block and going down to where it says users and then under that select enrolled users. Currently this teacher has three students in her course as well as herself as the teacher. To add more students to the course you would click on the enroll users button and a quick way to do this is select the student's name. So I'm going to do a search for the name student and hit enter and there is student number four and I want to enroll that person, student five and student six. Of course if they weren't there you could always type the person's first or last name and then scroll through the list of those people and select the ones you wanted. When finished just click on finish enrolling users and there they are. I now have six students in my course. Now I'm going to go back to the course homepage. Now that I have those six students, some of them are in my first period class and some of them are in my second period class. So to make my management of my class a little bit easier, I'm going to put them into groups. And again, I will go to the settings block, go to users, and this time now that students are enrolled, I can go to the groups category and set up my groups. First thing I need to do is create the groups. So I will create a group name for my first period class and I will select save changes and then I will create a group for my second period class and again just give it a name and save changes. Now that I have the groups created you'll notice the number inside parentheses shows that there are no users in that group. So I'm going to go to first period and then come down and select add remove users. I can now select the students in my first period class and it just so happens to be all the students that are odd numbered. So instead of selecting them one by one and adding them, which I could do, I will select the first one then hold down my control key and select all the others. When I'm finished, I'll let up on the control key and click add. And now those users are all in that group. And I'll click back to groups. And now I'll select second period. I'll select add remove users. And I'll select all the even number students. Clicking on the first student, then holding down the control key and clicking the other users. Release my control key and click add. Now I have my students listed in their groups according to their class period, which is probably one of the most common uses of groups.